Hey everyone, this is Colin here at Dalton North Outdoors. Welcome to the first part of a hopefully long series of uh, transforming my truck here into an uh, awesome hunting, fishing rig, just sweet truck. Um, this is a 96 Ford F250 XL standard cam log box. It's a 4x4 four-wheel drive. We haven't really done much to it. The only stuff we've done to it is we've done a tune-up to it. Oh, yeah, and also it's got a 351. It's a V8, so it's beast. And it's but anyway, we've done a tune-up to it. Like we put all the spark wires, new spark plugs, uh, put, like new filters in it. We've done basically put all new uh, liquids in it and new just did a nice tune-up. And then the only thing, other thing I've added to it. It's a toolbox that my uncle was kind enough to give to me that he wasn't using. And that's really the only stuff we've done to it. And uh, so what we're going to be doing today is I got a well, I got a lift kit for it for Christmas, which is sweet. And the, I did a review on that, so you guys can go check that out right down there. And if you guys want to see the review of it, we're going to be putting, trying to put in the, the rear blocks, which... Lift it up three inches in the back, and it's going to be four inches in the front. So it's a four-inch suspension lift. We're going to be trying to put uh, put the blocks in the back today. That's probably it's going to be that's probably kind of the easiest part. You can see if the blocks are right right here, where you see the thing kicking out right here. This is the block, and it's going to be that much plus another three inches that we're going to be adding to it. And then we're going to be putting in new U-bolts, so that's these right here. We're going to be putting those in. And then putting in new shocks in the back too, each of the shocks. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so step one is uh, taking the rear wheels off. So we got an air jack here. Been nice to take your car or truck through a car wash or clean it before you guys put a lift kit in it. That would have been really helpful for us. So basically now what we're doing is uh, we lifted it up and we put we got jacks under uh, under the axles. So we can take the U-bolts off on one side or on both sides, whatever, and you don't have to worry about the axle like falling off or anything. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. Taking off the old U bolts. Alright, so hopefully this will get the U bolts off, otherwise, we'll have to use the hot wrench. So we took the old U-bolts out, it's the old ones, you can see there, compared to the new ones, how small they are. So anyway, uh, here's the blocks we're going to be putting in, and we got two of them, and you can see that they're, they're tapered or diagonal, and that's so uh, it turns the axle a couple degrees to line up with the drive shaft, so you don't have extra strain on uh, the U-joints. So yeah, we're going to be putting these in, and this is where we're going to be jacking it up here with the air jack.
Those are just the other U bolts falling out that I didn't take out. Okay, don't forget to take the shocks out before you lift it up any higher so you can put the new blocks in. And we can't fit, fit the half inch impact in there, so we're gonna have to get some ratchets. So you don't even have to screw it in or anything, there's just a little pin on the top that you slide it in when you lift it up higher. So dad's putting in the other one over there and we got this one in here. Alright so we've got the blocks in here and now next we just gotta throw in the new U-bolts and then put in the new shock. So uh, we cut everything off here with the grinder or all the excess off so we can reach the impact on there and get everything on here nice and snug. But before we're driving around, we're going to get it on here with the torque wrench and set it to 100 pounds. Alright, so we're ready to put the new shocks in. We got four shocks here, two for the front, two in the back. And we're, we got two different kinds. And another negative review is that it's pretty frustrating here because it doesn't say anywhere in the instructions uh, what kind of shocks to put in the back and which ones to put in the front. It just says put the shocks in the back. And we got two different types of shocks here. They're pretty identical. And we don't know, it doesn't say anywhere where we're supposed to put them. So we're just going to have to try one and see if it fits in the back. And if it does, it's the right one, hopefully. If it doesn't, then it's obviously not. Okay, so we've got the old rear one here, and then we've got the two different kinds of the new ones, and we cut the finger midget off of it so everything extends out. And you can see this one's like almost as long as this one. And obviously, these have got to be a lot longer than the old ones, so it's obviously this longer one that we got to put in the back. So we're going to put the long one in the back, or both the long ones in the back. So after raising it up, we still weren't able to quite fit the shock in there, so we're using this jack just to uh, push the shock up more. Alright, so we set it down. We have everything bolted in there, and it's the back is good to go, other than you gotta tighten everything up the right way. You can see everything's in. Looks kind of silly with the little tires right now, but it's pretty awesome. We're just gonna, we're gonna put the details on the shocks last once we got everything in. You can see how high it is. Like, look how high I had to have to step even to get on here. And then, see the handle right here? It's It's awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in to part one of what I'm doing to my truck. Part two, we're going to be lifting up the front. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.